Hi, I'm Ray Toad from New Zealand. When geologists and paleontologists looked at the records, they found that there were times when many different creatures seemed to go extinct at the same time, and these events have been called mass extinctions. When a graph is made of, of all the different types of species in existence, and these times are found when many different species disappear at once, they're referred to as mass extinction events. Um, when more than 500 million years of records are studied, it's found that these events tend to recur at intervals of about 27 million years, uh, which means that there is in fact a cycle going on, and there's some uncertainty about what that might mean. In this graph, the red triangles has been placed at 26.65 million year intervals, which is the best estimate of the uh, in intervals of mass extinctions that have been reported by paleontologists. The green triangles are at intervals of uh, 36.64 million years, an interval which I have derived, uh, which uh, is cl very close to the estimate of a geological cycle that has also been reported, uh, for example, in a geological conference reported in the book Megacycles. Using these cycles, we can estimate when future mass extinction events are likely to occur. There's likely to be a minor event in about 4 million years' time, uh, and a, and a major, more major event in about uh, 15, 16 million years' time, uh, and a very major event in about 41 million years' time, when the, both cycles come back together again. Um, it's not something we have to worry about immediately, but it is something that uh, is, does it continue to uh, remove many uh, aspects of life on Earth when these events occur, because quite a big percentage of species actually get wiped out at these times, um, and to wipe out just one species means that every single individual of that species has to be killed. So you know, these are very dramatic events in the Earth's history.